Okay, so now this is the uh, Canon 55 to 250, and I'm at 250, and I'm focused. Ooh, that depth field is short. Uh, my depth of field, I mean my aperture is 5.6. It's still 6125. It's gonna be case all the way through. That's awesome. I'm gonna go past that. There's nothing else to see past that. I like that. But if I were to come into 55, looks like that. And I may or may not be in focus there. I don't know. But if I were to, I'm gonna turn all the focus off. Oh yeah, focus is much easier. Okay, so this is gonna be a direct comparison. This is the Nikon 135. Aperture is wide open, speed 60, ISO is 125. Um, you know, kind of going through that flower. Now we're going to go get the other lens and put it on here. Alright, seems fair to start with the, uh, this is the 28 to 135. I'm going to go out to 135. Focus on that flower. Definitely looks a little darker. Aperture's at 5.6. Still 60 and 125. And uh, I focus through. Uh, it's a little harder to nail that focus. And then if I were to come in with my zoom, I get that. I'm not sure what focus is there, but... Oh, that's aperture 3.5. Alright, so that was the Canon automatic my kit lens. Okay, so this is the Nikon um, 24 millimeter 2.8 aperture. Aperture is wide open. I've got it focused on that flower. And if I pull the focus in to the right round to the flower, it's about right there, and then pass, not much happens. And uh, that's knocking down the aperture some. Which I would probably shoot something like that. Something like that. And that's at uh, that's 5.6. That was 2.8. 5.6. Alright. Gives us a good idea of everything. Okay, this is the Canon 17 to 85. I'm at 85 right now. about focus. One out, out, out. Coming in. And the aperture is 5.6, which is as narrow as it gets. If I come in, I can get to 4.0. And I'm not even sure about focus now anymore. It's hard to tell. But that's, I'll just go from one extreme to the other. Definitely much larger field of view here. Okay.